Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So, a couple weeks ago I did a video on these coasters. These are from Artist Till Death. And you can see it still has the brown paper on the back, so I peeled the paper off the front, I painted them, and now I'm gonna go ahead and seal them. If you missed that video, I'll post the link in the description, but a lot of you asked for how to seal them. So I seal my resin, or I seal all my coasters with resin, and I find that's the most durable, they're heat resistant, cups don't stick to it. Not all resins are the same, so make sure you research the resin you're using. You can't just go out and buy any resin and expect it to work the same. I like to use Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. So I've already thoroughly, thoroughly mixed this for a video on how to mix resin. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. But it takes maybe not even an ounce, maybe like a half an ounce or so for each one of these, maybe less even. And I just pour it on the top and then go ahead and move it around. You can make sure you get the sides. And that's literally all there is to it. It's super duper simple. And then I have it raised up on cups here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on all of these. Make sure I fully get them covered. Okay, excellent. These are now fully covered. The last step is to torch them. And that's just to remove the air bubbles. You need to do that with resin or the air bubbles will in fact dry in there. You can use a heat gun if you don't wanna use a torch. And I see a couple little spots that I missed. So I'm gonna just go back here and fix those. Double check one more time. And then torch again. Now I will also let these sit here for usually about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll come back and torch one more time and then that's it. Let them cure. So I'm going to come back when these are all dry and then I'll show you peeling off the backs of these so you can see the full process. Okay guys? So we'll be back in probably one to two days. Okay, we're back. These are all dry. Look how beautiful that looks. I love these. The resin really makes it pop. Okay, so now we need to remove the paper on the back. Now it's not quite as easy as removing the paper on the front because remember you've got all this uh, run over of paint and resin. So I find it easiest to take either a blade or a knife of some sort and you basically just need to rip that paper just a little bit just so that you have something to grab onto. And as soon as you just rip it just a little bit, it's really easy to get the rest off. It has kind of this, you can probably see a little bit of a plastic thing, so it all sticks together there. And I'll show you how easy it is when we get to the edge here. Look at that nice, clean line. Now, if it doesn't come off perfectly, don't worry. Just go back and it will come off. So the hardest part is just getting it started. You know, when you help your kids peel oranges or something, they just, as long as they can get it started, they can get that off. Okay, look how awesome that is. So you can use either side of this coaster, but look, it's just perfectly clean. You don't have to do anything else to this. It is ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the paper on the rest of these. I'll show you the backs of all of them, and then that'll be it. All right, I've got all the paper off. So here's the back of this one. I often like the backs, I think, even more than the fronts. <laughs> They're so cool. Okay, and then the last one, back and front. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you didn't see the original video where I painted these, link will be in the description. And I highly, highly recommend these coasters. They have other shapes, they have other items. And once again, they come from Artist tilldeath.com that will also be in the description of the video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time